Hey guys, welcome back to Rootset. In this video, I'm going to show you something new, something I haven't used before, the Husky Lens. Husky Lens is an AI-powered, easy-to-use vision sensor which can learn a new object, face, and color just by a click. In this Husky Lens tutorial, I'm going to show you what a Husky Lens can do. I will show you color recognition, object tracking, face recognition, and things like that using Husky Lens. But first, let me introduce you to the sponsor of this video, UTSource. UTSource is a professional electronic component supplier. They provide different electronic components such as IC, passive components, sensors and various modules to be used with Arduino as well as Raspberry Pi for your DIY hobby project. If you are looking for good quality electronic components for a cheap price, go check it out. I will leave the link in the description. Guys, this is the Husky Lens. This sensor features built-in algorithms to learn new things through a single click. The Husky Lens provides tinkerers to make their own interactive gesture control, autonomous robots, smart access, and interactive toys. This AI vision sensor provides specific hand gestures and recognizes learned hand movements patterns and feed its position. Along with the Husky Lens board, there was also this amazing black pouch that looks somewhat like a Husky that fits perfectly to the Husky Lens board. Before going into programming or coding or whatever, let us see what it can do by itself. I am going to power it up with a USB power adapter. When you power it up, you will be able to see this boot screen. As you can see, it boots up really quickly. Now let us take a look at the Husky Lens navigation. As you can see here, there is a button on the top left of this board. If you tap on that, it will show you whatever things you can do with this board. So it has things like face detection, object tracking, object recognition, line tracking, color recognition, tag recognition. Then there are some general settings. First take a look at object tracking. I'm going to take an object like this and put it in front of the husky lens. Now I push the button and basically put the target mark on whatever I want to track and then click this button. As you can see it locks the object and turns that box green. From now on it's going to follow it around the screen. Even if it leaves the field of view, when it comes back in, it usually picks it up. Let us look at face recognition. Guys, if you find this video useful, consider supporting my channel by giving this video a like and click on the subscribe button here. I would really appreciate it. Go to the menu and select face recognition. Now to test it, move the camera over an image of the face. Here, what I'm actually doing is, I'm training the camera with different images of Tom Cruise. Once the training is complete, it will detect his face anywhere on the screen and mark it as ID1. Pretty cool, right? To be honest guys, I never thought I would be able to do this with a single tap of a button. About 99% of the time, it will guess the face correctly. What's interesting is, even on a blurry image, it can detect the face. Guys, and the best thing is, once it is trained with enough images, this face recognition and face detection also works with videos in real time. Now let's take a look at color recognition. So I have a couple of things lying around here with different colors and I have the husky lens here. I'm gonna push the button and select color recognition. Now I'm going to lock the color by clicking this button on the right. Now it has detected the color and locked it. As I move the camera down, the box is trying not to jump over to the other color. As I come back, everything goes back to the way it was. As you can see, it is clearly distinguishing between various colors without any delay. Along with this, we also have object recognition, which will help you to recognize various objects on the screen, as well as line tracking to track a line and make things like line follow robots. So now you know what all things it can do. So the question is, what do you do with it when you recognize a color or an object? So let's check that out. The cool thing is that this thing is actually outputting all of this data. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can connect this board to Arduino fetch the data from Husky Lens, print it on the serial monitor and do some fun stuffs. Stay tuned guys!